the lights out? Well, I mean, uh, what I did was I just added the items in which the departments wanted to have and the year in which they wanted it and their priority. I did not, I'm not making a recommendation because I'm not sure that's my job to do that. That that would be the board's license to recommendation how to fund it. Is my opinion, but. All right. The, um, what we typically look for is for the CIP committee to make a recommendation board as to what they think the priority should be that's uh, there. after hearing from the department head. So, so that's there. Okay. Their priorities, some of the priorities have changed. Okay. Um, so I based, I did my increases of new items and then re-numbered right, re the um, priority on Yeah, um, we've moved one item, we've moved the kids, uh, kids loader down to the transfer station. It wasn't previously in the highway. Okay, yeah. So we moved that down yeah. to transfer station. Actually, I sent the transfer station to uh, Ed and asking him to review it, and he didn't know what I was asking him to do. And I think he probably didn't even know this was existed, so I sent the kids to go over with yeah. Ed. Um, so okay. I have a print back on that. Um, just for the priority uh, numbers, because I wasn't quite sure um, where he wanted to stand, and he didn't really understand what I was asking for. So George is going to work with him. Okay. So let's just see what do we have in um, twelve minutes in the CIP right now. We have a line for that. No. Um, is it not working? Yeah. Okay, so what do we have currently in the CIP? Um, that's a really good question. I 
Don't even know. Vern might be able to answer that yeah, question. Well, the one must be in the, um, it, it would be in the, you know what, it would be in the, Public meetings, just anybody can wander in. It may just be listed as it's not typically something I kept track of. Um, It's not a separate account, so I'm not sure whether he even reports on it because it's not a separate bank account. It's part of, um, it operates out of, you know what, actually, trustees. no, trustees. Yeah, trustees, so I, I, I take that back, trustees. So it is printed in here. So it should be on the trustees. Yeah, and what we'll do is we'll look at the trustees report from last year and then add the appropriations Whatever. that we made yes, at the last exactly. time. Thousand. So subtract this for me as we go along. Forty-two. Then twelve thousand. Then forty-five thousand. Then we added one hundred and seventy-eight thousand two hundred.
this year. Right, well, at the beginning of the year, so it was the previous year. It was the previous year's town meeting, right? That's yes. when the curve. Okay, so that would give us how much? 344, 234. 344, 234. 234. Okay. And if we were to honor all the commitments, other requests, rather. That's 25,000 out. came out on Monday, he said that he wanted uh, the radios this year, yeah. so he'd like the radios, and to put the air pack at filling station off for another year. Again, what was the second thing he wanted? Because his, his comments to the committee was for the radios and forestry vehicle, the two top ones. Well, but he's got... Um, Changing it back to 2020 to air packs. Yes, just from yeah, the filling station, not the air pack. Air pack filling station. Yeah, just to get the third bit. Oh, I see. Yes. So, so I see that that's what that's called, but I believe his request, and so the, I think this is a multifunctional piece of equipment, and um, his primary use would be um, as a sidewalk plow. That's correct. It would also allow for salting of the sidewalks, which we currently can't really do. Okay, so this is not a... That's not what this is, then, right? So it's not an articulate or a mower, then? Well, well, I think it is. I think yeah, I think it can do, I think it's a multifunctional thing, and you can buy attachments, right. and whatever. Right. So, so that would fit better on the sidewalks that we the have. The sidewalks are narrow, yeah. and he, they have trouble mowing the sidewalk, the, uh, rather, um, plowing right. the sidewalks. They can't sand, but they have trouble plowing because right. they're the narrow side. and it yeah. falls off. Yeah. There are also lease purchase options with that. Yes, he told me he had different um, payment, uh, plan payment plans, and I told him that he would have to bring it to the board because he wasn't, um, he didn't have it when we were doing this. So okay. he's going to um, show the different payment options. All right, well, I don't have anything right now, so we're not going to do it. So until it comes in with some more information. Well, you had 
just said twenty. What What are you looking well, for? You're... He's looking at the boiler, which I'm not sure nineteen is is a reasonable thing until we decide what we're going to do at the police station. Because you're not going to continue to put mm -hmm. good money into a bad situation if if it doesn't stay here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think we have to we have to make one decision before we make another. But you can't take it off the report because then you lose your placeholder. But so if you look at the CIP sheet, mm -hmm. 2019 is totaled by department, and then it's totaled at the bottom of that column. Right. So you can see what all the 19 or like what all the asks are per year. Well, the only thing they got to kill our mower isn't got a dollar amount in there yet. Well, it has a... Um, it has a line, but not a dollar. Oh, I not, see. Not a funding dollar amount. Not a funding dollar amount. Right, so the 156, 622 yeah. isn't including that. So if you want to put something in there, I can tell you what a revised amount would be. But also, just to let you know, when you're looking at the, the number one priority, I mean, he moved his GMC pickup to one in, instead of what it was before, which was um, two. Um, and he was looking for it for 2020. Now he wants to move it up to 19 because He's afraid that we're going to have some repair bills that are going to be very costly because of the age and condition of it. So he made that a priority, which you hadn't really funded as much as you would have or should have um, where it was before. Hmm. Well, <coughs> why is there only 35600 in that line? Because that's... I don't know how that... Well, I, that, that was the, you know, the, I, my guess is that that was the annual amount that um, the previous decision had allocated, you know, right. the previous year had allocated yeah. for that. And since, and there's nothing after that because it would have been funded, it would have been purchased that's in 2020. So that's, that was the last payment that would have been made on it, not to confuse that with being a complete overall payment. Mm -hmm. it is, it is. So in other words, if you're not going to fund it, this if you're not going to propose purchasing it this year, then the existing idea to fund it would have been that. Right. All right. So we're going to uh, we're going to push the town hall boiler off until next year. Is that what we're thinking? So we have well, more I just to I fund. don't want to start putting things in until we know what we're going to do with the police station administration building that is up for proposal, you know, whether or not it's going to be this year, I don't know, because we are still waiting I don't think for some answers. answers. I, if, if we haven't gotten things to this point, I don't think that we're going to have time to, to, to secure funding and to get it on, to make sure that we have a, a cogent plan and budget for our job, if, if we're not getting there now. So, uh, What's the deadline? To get things on the ballot? No, yeah. Because uh, we have, we have, um, the, the board has to amount. sign the warrant in January. January. And we already, Bob's already gone and looked at um, um, funding. There's two scenarios. I think he's, is he just under 15 or she's under 15 at that point? I didn't, I didn't think so. Okay. I'll, um, I'll get those sent to you. But that doesn't include the land. He, that threw his monkey wrench in because people wanted to have it on a bigger lot so you could eventually attach fire. And so because of that, now we're looking to buy land if we have to. And that could change the picture altogether. And then I agree with you, if we have to buy land, we're not ready yet. But still, if you're planning on being out in a year, two max, do we put a brand new boiler in here? Well, 
Right. Yeah. And I'm fine with waiting on the boiler. Yeah. So J just know that whatever you don't do in this building, like the AC experience, we've also had yeah. emergency boiler experiences. Right. So you may be up against it in the operating right. budget. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we had that public hearings as well, uh, as requirement of the bond bank. I, I don't. I don't think if we're going to go to the municipal bond bank, we're going to have to wait on the ballot for for, for March. If we have to have a warrant signed by January, mm -hmm. we're not going to have time to, to hold all these meetings and get everything uh, to get everything um, uh, aligned, situated with the bond bank and the bond council, um, and and and, and, and the, the amount of public outreach that we're going to. We don't, we don't have an answer on, on the land. I thought we were getting a, an answer back. It's not because of you. I'm not, I'm not saying it's because you haven't done something. It's because we're, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for an answer on the land. And yes. It's kind of like waiting for Godot at this point. Well, we <laughs> have a tentative. Um, Bob and I and landlord owners are scheduling a meeting to discuss. That's all I can say because I don't have any other details. But Bob has, uh, the landlord owners have met themselves and um, now want to meet with Bob and Bob asked me to keep my way too to get more details. Okay. So I haven't been scheduled yet. I okay. said my reply that I would do it. Okay. Um, but I haven't got a date yet. Okay. January 28th is the deadline to post the warrant. Okay. Okay. And Bob understands that nothing can be done unless it's like the, 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 the right. Okay. Well, I mean, Why? nobody's making decisions. We're just hearing the potential landowner's right. opinion and proposal. Okay. And then it will be having to be brought back to the police station big piece. Right. And then to the board of okay. That's. It was different when we have land that's not owned. Right. No, that's Which is still available as in the project. It just would not be able to have a fire station attached to it in years to come. Right. So. What, um, when was the last time we had a service here? Do you remember? Was it, have we had a service this year? So, my understanding is that it has um, two pumps, and we did one of them. Right. I don't remember it. I think it was this past winter. It might have been the winter before. Right. But the other one is either not operational or um, on the verge of not being operational at any time. something like ten or twelve thousand oh, dollars. Right. Just to fix those pumps. Yeah. It was a lot. I don't remember exactly, but it was a lot. <clears throat> so best case scenario we can get the um, get the um, police station and now building on the warrant for, for March and it passed best case scenario and so we're looking at at least another realistically probably at least another year um, year and a half maybe two years in this building as the, as the town hall so we need to figure out we need to, our best guess is whether or not we think the, the boiler is going to survive Not we need to um, we need to be budgeting for the uh, all likelihood that the other pump's going to go and it's going to cost us about ten to twelve thousand dollars to fix it. So. All right. All right. So here's what we do know that I think there's a consensus around. We know that <coughs> we need to replace the police vehicle, and the chief has suggested that we.
thinking it was at one time he was going to lease two vehicles in the same year. I believe he moved it. So two years in a row rather than two and one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll. Uh, does he have a dollar amount in there or is it the same as dollar amount? Um, it says um, annual $25,000. Mm -hmm. In his email still, too? That's what it says in the email. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how that, that that's reflected in, in years going forward to have. Two leases going on, so let me flip that. Okay, so for this year, that would be 25 mm -hmm. for.
Dean, I'd like to go start off the uh, and spend some time with um, this spring reaching out to uh, looking at reaching out to um, construction companies. So we, we missed this opportunity last year, the year before last. The um, if there's any have our advantages cost savings to the town to um, hire a construction plows for municipalities mm -hmm. um, and there are other companies like that that do that and have them working at, in that winter time. So. The GMC is a diesel. It is. It's supposed to be. That complicates what I just said. Well, I need to look into um, if folks want to consider it, we can look at what the, the state is offering for, uh, for grants. Unless we can get offsetting revenue from from a grant from the state or the federal, I um, I'd like to put it off another year. But that's just me. Yeah, I mean that <coughs> does seem like a a lot of money to move to the top. National that's going to need to be replaced in 2025. He's hoping, or I guess we're hoping, and then the uh, the 550 that we had a couple years ago, three years ago now, another 70,000, and then 160 for this truck for this year. We will still need trucks. There are grant opportunities. Perhaps they should be. Is the is the top stick only a plow vehicle? They can remove the sander, and you know it is a big dump truck. They can use it for other purposes, but right. it is primarily, you know, the real reason we have it is as a plow truck. Well, I'm just thinking. So if 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 we do um, if there are opportunities for grants, and we do move forward with it, and then we find out in the springtime that it would be uh, advantageous. Contract um, plowing services instead of having um, employees of the town doing it. Um, it can be repurposed. It's not just a plow vehicle. It can be used for. So when the um, it will not be time, used much. I mean, it certainly <coughs> can be used, but it wouldn't be used much. You can also, um, if you put it on the warrant, you can also you, you have time to not recommend it when the time comes. So. I would like George to at least come in and see this case uh, at the next select board meeting and see if you know he can offer any more um, information on why he's brought it up to the top of the list. All right. So do you want me to request it when he comes to the next Monday night meeting? Talk about his CIP request? Sure. Okay. I'm assuming this isn't the truck that we just spent money for spring. I think that was the... Um, it was the international. have George come in on Monday and, and talk to us some more about the about the highway stuff. Okay. And
And maybe you can talk to us about the, um, the articulator mode mm -hmm. some more. I'll, I'll look at that up. Oh, yeah, he, he talked to us about it on on Monday, and he said that he, he wanted to reprioritize again, and that he would do portable radios this year and push off another year for the filling station. But I mean, he can come in and talk to us again. Didn't he say no, that? well, yeah. if he, I didn't, I didn't hear that yeah. conversation well, since I don't know what yeah, 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 no. It's, so, um, yeah. if he, if, if you're comfortable, then we don't have to ask him. That's fine. That's right, that's, that's what we talked about. Is that what he said? Okay. So I just want to make sure. No. Uh, I'm just remembering, so. All right, so we know for sure then at least the police crews are portable radios. We're going to talk to George some more about his two top priorities. And so there's nothing else uh, to come out of the CIP then uh, for this year, although we do, I still think we need to think seriously about this town hall board. But um, um, either replacing it or, or making sure we have a sufficient money in the uh, town hall meeting. So now we need to look at what we um, <coughs> are placing into the CIP. So if we, oh, let's see, if we went with everything, so it looks like we would need, if we were to fund things at um, at the um, suggested level of 2019, which is not going to be right. We just moved um, a couple of things around. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe 156,625. Thank you. Is what we're is what we would be looking at. Well, um, right. spreadsheet's not working yet because I'm still moving things around. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll well, so. Because we have columns that do all of the things on the list, and we have the 19 column, and not everything has been filled into the 19 as funded fully this year, if that's what's recommended. So um, if you want to keep the previous sheet as you're looking at it, you know, it's kind of a lot of changes, and if you're still making changes, and want to leave things as they are and make incremental changes, then it might be better to read the numbers and I'll add for you. Okay. So you'd have to move the 55 into uh, 19, make it right. 65 um, for the portable radios. Yes. The so I've done that and taken it out of 20. Um, so that's fine. Um, 30 in there. But you see the forestry has 15 plus 30. Yeah, but you're not talking about doing the forestry, right? So you can put off a year for the funding on okay, so forestry and move the other one over. Wouldn't you still want to reserve for it? Yeah. The 15,000? Yes. Yeah, not yeah. the spent amount. So I'm looking at 19's expenditure. He's saying 156,000. That's no, no. So 19. This is money you're putting. That's money you're putting in. To the which are the same going to spend? No. No, because of what you're spending is all of it would come. It, it, whatever your priority is for that year, you it, it would absolutely assume would be coming direct 100% out of the CIP. Correct. So this well, is, that, that's not that, that, is, that has not always been the case. Right. Um, some things, like the cruisers, are typically completely funded by the CIP. Mm -hmm. But there are other things. Um, if you look at the last year's warrant, um, where you can see some amount of it funded by CIP and the rest. The rest. Right. But the only thing we've said so far that we're going to for sure do is the uh, portable 
radio and the, and the cruiser. So those are the only two that need to come out 100% out of the CIP for 2019, right? All these other things still remain. If, if, we, if we don't change the, the list of priorities, they remain the same. So that's what this column, or this, um, this 2019 column, is what you're supposed to be saving, right? For that right, year. the rest of, yes, other amounts that you see in that column are monies you're putting away for when you do purchase them. So, it shouldn't really change, right? My point is, though, that it's showing 2020, 20, 30, 55,000 for portable radio, but you're proposing just to buy them, then you need to move that to be the 65 total in 19. And I did that. I, I did that in the sheet. Right, so we take that out of 2020. And move it to 19. Put zero and twenty because you're not doing anything it. there. Mm -hmm. Well, well, maybe you are. I mean, that's the other question. You know, once you buy them, are you going to, you know, continue to start funding it for the next go around? Depending that's on true. what the lifespan yeah, is. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I'm not saying take it off, but if you, if you're saying the two things that you're going to purchase is the cruiser and the radio. So, so you really need so so these these columns with the years are the reserve amount. You need another column that's what you have to spend this year. Right. Or something. So the right. gray shaded cells um, yeah. are um, what used to be the code for the purchase years. Right. Okay. So, so this uh, in 2020 where it says 55 for yeah. portable radio, that just goes away. That goes away. Or we just reduce to five or something. Right. right. Well, I would suggest that yeah. we want to be putting money. Oh, yeah, probably five thousand a year yep. into into the capital reserve for that line. So then you go out to X amount of years further out, you can buy so many more. Right. Yep. But the fifty five doesn't necessarily need to move over to twenty nineteen because you're not. This is not. Um, that's supposed to be. That's not. That's that. Is that the grand total that we've saved for? Well, if you look in no, column okay. D, that's your gross capital. That's like what it costs to do it, assuming. I don't have, have letters, so. The oh, I'm sorry. The gross capital. capital. Right next to the priority is gross column. capital. Right. So that's the Total purchase price. Right. Okay. So so if you don't have, so the 19 column, whatever you're going to purchase in whatever year, right. um, has to be. All right, so let's simplify and call 19. If there's no money put away for it yet in 19, um, the gross capital column will be the same as the 19 column. So in 2019, we, we change that to now, uh, what, 60, 65? 65. Okay. And 2020 should go back to five. To move over to five, I would say. Or 10, or whatever you think is the, is the appropriate amount. So I, I put whatever you want it to be is fine. I, I put five in there for 20. Okay. And I can make that carry through if you want that to be, you know. It would be prudent, I think, for the CIP group to meet again with department heads to talk about lifespans and so mm -hmm. that we can make better projections about how much to put away mm -hmm. in future. Because typically, the, the CIP has kind of morphed into what are this year's priorities? It, you know, and, and they talk less about what are all of our assets right. and what are the lifespans of all of our assets. And they do review that a little bit, but I think it would be helpful to review with them. Right. Um, you know, if it's a 10-year lifespan, what's the price going to be in 10 years? Right. Best guess. Right. right. So that you can consider putting in mm -hmm. the appropriate amount. Now that we have, um, now that we have our um, spreadsheet up, has, has it been updated? As far as radios is concerned. Okay, so what is the bottom line for 2019? 95, oh, for 19 is um, 211.622. That includes all the partial funding of other things. Right. So that's what 
Of that 211, 622, 90,000 can come directly out of the CIP. Is that what we agreed to? It, it's all about what you agreed to. Oh, what is it? So we need to be saving. So if, if we are to meet the, um, meet the other obligations, this year, so when we were looking at other things we wanted to do, the, 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 the portico out front is an example, yeah. um, we were replacing pumps and air conditioners instead. Yeah. You have the best of intentions of what you think you're going to be able to manage and, and to do, and then four other things fail. in now for this year for 2019. Purchase it. So what's the total for So that's years? 115 for this year. Taking it out, right? Well, pur purchasing. So it's your it's up to yeah. you how much you're funding from CIP. Versus budget. Right. Okay. So how much 
So each of these, these CIP items will be a separate warrant or something, right? Mm -hmm. And then the, the, um, the CIP reserve funds adding money into that um, will be um, a separate warrant or something. So that's, so if we add that together, so that would be, what did I say, 
not enter them into the spreadsheet. So um, I'm going to ask you if you would just give me the bottom line so that yeah. I can put the bottom line in there sure. for number purposes. So the suggesting that they want to do their survey. I told them that they should probably do it sooner rather than later because we won't be encumbering them. We probably won't be encumbering those funds. So let's see how you got it. She's going to work on that. Do you want to leave those lines blank for now? Those three? I would just leave them where they are. Where they are. Okay. Where they are, yeah. So do you want a different total? Yes, please. 63,000.
less registration than right. they're predicting. So then when we then the town has kind of raised and appropriated a certain amount of money because your revenue is say two thousand yeah. dollars is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because that's where we thought we were gonna be in a hole this year, so uh, a couple yeah. of grands. Right. But because we know it was it was a town with Caroline, you know? It, it, was, being, it wasn't really that as bad as we thought it was. No, it was, it was something like that. But yeah. I, I'm trying to clarify your question. Did you want to increase expenses by $2,000? Is that what you No, I want to reduce revenue by $2,000, which means it will the town will appropriate 2000 of the expense. Am I correct? Am, am I saying that right? Well, if you don't, if your revenue and your expenses are equal. Then you're if you reduce your revenue by two thousand yeah. dollars, then well, that means the town's picking up two thousand dollars in ex the expense of it. So we're finding somewhere on the budget. So well, well, well it is no, no, no. Line. Like no, so she wants to keep the expenses as they've budgeted, which right. means so you, you got to break it down. Whatever's in the expense budget, you are going to raise and appropriate. Yes. So first of all, you're going to like raise tax revenue to support this budget. Right. Revenue is a completely different scenario. So. If you want to decrease revenue, you're right that the town will be on the hook for an extra two grand. The other way to do that is to increase expenses and keep revenue the same. And either way, you're going to be um, $2,000 on the tax rate. But that all aside, you, you, remember back a few weeks ago to the revised revenue mm -hmm. report. You know, this is a process in steps. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is what the budget is that you think it's the tax rate next year is not going to be set by whatever you're doing now. It's going to be set by these expenses that get approved in March, plus the revised revenues that we do in September. Mm -hmm. So you'll have so it, it'll be based on actual like closer to actuals. And actually, because this is a summer program and we should have expenses figured out by then, mm -hmm. it will be based okay. very closely okay. on actuals. Does that help you? Okay, yeah, because I just want to make sure that we're not blindsided by a two thousand dollar expense that we hadn't planned for. So the best. So way I don't want to increase the budget because we really project that this is what we're going to spend. But if in the event that it is overspent based on because you got more children, you got more registration, it might be an adjustment to increase it based on what we got in revenue. You, well, because so you say so many children at so, such a dollar amount, but if you got ten more children than you were projecting. That's not a bad thing, because you're going to have it on the revenue side. So, so what I would say to that is, you have expenses that reflect what you think you might ever possibly spend. You know, and this is board discretion about what that is. Um, whatever is not listed in that rec budget, if they get more children, which means an extra whole bus, which blows your budget out, you're taking that from separate lines. That's that. It, it, re revenue is is not relevant to that. Does that make sense? It, it does, in a way. However, Suzanne has always wanted it to be shown that the revenue equals the, and you're expected to well, raise as much as your revenue as your budget line is. And that so doesn't that's mean why that, I'm connecting them. Right. So, so it doesn't mean that your goal changes necessarily. Mm -hmm. But if you add the expense, you know, yeah, you know, it, I see what you're saying. It's I'm just trying to be... And if we get the money, that that's great, you know. So it not, you know, it equals. But theoretically, if you have a budget for whatever to spend, whatever that is, the revenue would match, in theory. Mm -hmm. It there's a um, it, it's kind of a bit of a wave with their budget because at some point you reach a threshold where you have so many kids that their largest their second largest expense, which is transportation, right. bumps up to a different level. So, right. so that's your, your problem. So you need the flexibility in expenses, but your revenue in that case is not going to be neutral because the expense of four children on a whole bus isn't going to... So that's why you need to consider capping enrollment at whatever the bus limit is right. or whatever, whatever is enough children that the second bus... You know, so, so you have, you know, between 100 and 120 kids doesn't work, but from 120 to 160 works, but you have this middle number where you're not going to be revenue neutral. Does that make sense? So, however you want to work that, you, you, you can't really, it, unless
unless you want to cap enrollment at what's safe or put people on a waiting list for whatever that middle amount is mm -hmm. that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. You can have a waiting list of 20 kids, and when it bumps to 21 kids, all of a sudden, you know, you're self-sufficient again, yeah. and, you, and you open those doors up. Okay. But we're going to handle revenues at a, um, at a millennium plus. Yeah. Um, for, as far as the appropriation goes for right now, it looks like, it's, uh, at least for REC, the REC budget is uh, down $4,800. Recreation budget is complete unless there's any kind of objection or addition or anything. All right. So, we want to. Did we get the budget from the library yet? Thank the recreation department because they just uh, helped offset some of that increase. Okay. Okay. And because they're a separate um, board of trustees, that uh, by statute govern, um, we take their number and plug it into our budget system. And they can discuss it with the budget committee. As far as the select board is concerned, they'll assess with arguments for them to have. Overall operating budget that we pull it out of the budget. All right, so um, was there consensus? I don't, I'm trying to recall. Under general assistance, were we waiting on more information before we made our determination? I'm trying to remind you. So um, let me just say two things about that department. Yeah. Um, the first is that I would like to add a dollar in the other line to give us flexibility with other, noting that sometimes other things come up. Um, the other is that I have a meeting next week, but I'm confident that we will be unified, that area welfare directors are going to be unified in not supporting any annual donation to that one homeless shelter. Oh, okay. Um, and there's reasons for that that we can go into another time. Um, what that's going to mean yeah. is that we are going to be on the hook for a $50 a night fee if our people end up there, um, in which case people will stay on the coordinated entry list for um, free shelters as they become available. Okay. In other words, we're going to try not to use them. Gotcha. Okay. You're going to... Area welfare directors are going to coordinate that amongst yourself? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. But you, you would like a dollar in the other line? Yes. Okay. Is there any objection to that? No. Yeah. But um, community assistance organizations, was there anything else? Um, Let me go back to the other line. issues? Why is it, why is it that it's not showing up on the, on the light board? I don't know. Um, I, I've got it hooked in, and for whatever reason, I can't get it to. Yeah, well, I did turn it on. The screen was illuminated, but um, it was not um, getting a signal from my device for some reason, which I don't know. Yeah. 
Unplug it and plug it back in. Yeah. No, no, not power. No, not yeah. power. Plug it's it back power. in. So we'll let it. Um, let it warm up, see if it works or not. If not, we can disconnect the cable from the, the light box on the wall and put it back in maybe. Yeah, we can do that. Um, so community assistance, you have um, increased that by a thousand dollars. Which includes a thousand dollars specifically to meals on wheels. Okay. Hold on. All right. So it's eight. So I get stuck here, and then the that countdown one counts down F to zero, and the light goes on. One of your functions is either F four or F five will project it out. Didn't I see a sale there also? Yeah, their 60th anniversary sale. Should be loads of fun. But then we're going to drive over to Chester. Little town of Chester. Uh, beautiful little town. They do um, scarecrow costumes in front of their houses. And they're real, I mean, they are, these people are competitive. They had, um, I'll share the pictures when we get Where's there. It's um, next to Hampstead, uh, right. Raymond. Okay. If you go to Raymond yeah. and you go. We have a screen for it, so. Absolutely, I believe that. Ah. One of them. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, sort of back way to go down to Derry. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, to Derry, too. Um, they have so much so competitive. <coughs> That's you. We, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, go that way, there's a case of my bad. So bad. Um, extra stuff in here. And they just, they're crazy, though. They're, they're, and they're not just scare codes, they're like elaborate. Well, and in the meantime, um, we've got, so like, designed diorama. It's <laughs> really this yeah, one person who's making their town hall. Yeah, I know, vote. but it would be nice to go to the vote. Time time vote. I mean, we've got um, <laughs> the Wizard of Oz is not, uh, in one, this giant dragon thing. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. nuts. So and it's all a fundraiser for the historical yeah. society, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually right. a lot of fun to see. So we're going to drive over. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're going to resolve this. Sorry to interrupt you. Yep. Thank you. I'll talk to. Okie dokie, let's back to our regularly scheduled program then. Uh, it, was, it was 1,000 to... Um, the uh, increase is 1,000. For, for meals yeah. on wheels? Yes. All right, so that should be... Uh, where did I just go? So that should be eight. Yes. The bottom line is... Oh. What's that? Uh, 22, 502? 501. 502, 501. Okay. Okay. Four point seven on the yeah one thousand one in the department and four point seven percent. Okay. All right. I don't know that you're caring about the percentages right well, now. All right. Anyway, so you're going to give us the, I don't know why, Marty. You're going to give us an update. Yes, I will. She yes. One of my scribble on it. Okay. So um, there wasn't any um, while we're on this page, there wasn't any objection to um, the other sections, right? For the patriotic purposes mm -hmm. and flags, that sort of stuff. So that can all just stay the same at 1601. And we've got general assistance closed out. All right, so let's go back to the beginning then. Which we probably should
your event anyways, but I don't know. It felt nice to finish our page. So. Okie dokie. So, uh, there was no suggested changes in um, uh, select board, moderator, supervisor, the checklist. Those top three lines. They were all good with that. So we need to go down. Well, your changes are already there. You have right, because of. Of less right, elections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And based on the, the number of elections, for sure. Um, but the, so the real crux of this whole entire section, I think, is the next one, finance and admin secretary, and admin and clerical support. So we had voted on Monday evening that we wanted to move forward with, um, within the budget, to move forward with a um, the town administrator position, which is difficult to do with it not writing properly. Uh, okay, so. I, I can come sit next to you, at least, so that you, you know, like two of you can see a screen at least. Yeah, one yeah. Why don't you sit closer to your cord reach? I don't need my cord right this way. No, not a lot. You say that now until. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know how long we're going to be here. here but oh, we're going to be here until noon. I don't, you don't think we're getting out of here early on this day? Well, I wasn't so thinking early. I was thinking that. <laughs> no, no. It's, Miles has to leave at noon, so that's fine. I'm respect it. Well, I respect people coming, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I got mine. So. Okay. 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 Number of the range was like 53 to 1. 
Yes. So, so 53 is the bottom miles. That's and what's like, the high end? Like 128. Yeah, you've got a big range of right. talent. So if you know approximately where it is in the report, I have to report. I thought it was 50. I just want to not shoot us in the foot here. May I propose a dollar under the finance and admin secretary? Well, I mean, maybe it's, yeah, maybe that's where it goes. Right. Maybe that maybe that is the thing. And admin clerical support is is the one that. Well, I just I just want to keep the flexibility. Like you know, if nothing else, we have theoretically. I want to make sure that if this doesn't that we have the flexibility to pay out of different lines depending on when this becomes yeah. effective mm -hmm. okay. and, and whether or not we end up in a default budget and nobody's like, well, I guess that's another. Well, the default budget would be um, what we currently have. So the current lines, right, that we have mm -hmm. now? Well, more than lines, but not exactly. Uh, which, by the way, in well, I mean, what I mean is by that is that the, the default budget wouldn't have um, the new town administrator line. Right. Exactly. Line, right? So, so there's that. So that's fine. That's so, fine. I'm putting it all. Unless you think that's where the money belongs, is not under 
have the clerical support. That's Summer's position, right? The admin clerical support is currently she's she's good. she pays out she's paid out of that money. Yeah. The, so the, that isn't really the. Is, is there this any way we can not have this in a line? <laughs> because since we're not looking at any price. Their work that Salome is doing that would you said that line would go down? Well, um, it would go down because she doesn't use okay. all of. She never. It could go down. That I mean, that, you know, it, it certainly could go down because she doesn't. You can see in the the um, I have a column J 
today, but the, yep. um, she spent 36, 34 so out of the, you know, the third quarter. So half of the money in three quarters of the year. So you can at least, yeah, you can at least bring it down right. to, you know, 7,100 or something like that, 7,300. I'm sorry. Um, it is, but it's also, um, she does more than that. No, no, I know that, but that's in there as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. But, um, so five would be a good number for that. What is it? Five. Five? Okay. So, currently, yes. But if you're a town administrator, the select board may require that person to attend meetings. Um, and you may have that person take the minutes as well. And you don't have to, I mean, maybe not, but so there may be savings in other places or opportunities for savings. So, so one of the advantages of having uh, a town administrator would be to attend the select board meeting, so there's no there's no loss in um, information. I, I would suggest that you do that, but I would just go, um, I, I, would, I would hope that you not have that position take minutes just I because agree. it's hard to participate yeah. in a meeting right. and, and take minutes at the same time. I agree. That is not. Right. Still, even yeah. with, that, with that reduction, we will still be able to have someone. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now where are we? We. So I need to check on um, payroll taxes that it's calculating. Mm -hmm. And it is. So. Um, No, what do you what do you want to see? Scroll down to the two. That's the bottom. The bottom of the department is three oh nine. Uh oh, sorry, um two oh three nine thirty nine. Two two oh three.
lines in here that um We were going to see if we could find the usage. Yes, yeah. and the answer is no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, they did respond. They did. It's been a long okay. time to respond, and the answer is um, they can't. They can't quantify. Out. No, they can get overall usage, but they can't because right. it has other lots of a few other towns. They can't figure out what's relative to all of it. Yeah. So do they tell us what relative to the entire town are uses it? Um, they, they, they they do. So we're looking at countywide. This right. this is well, it has it doesn't have all the communities in the county, but it has. Well, whoever uses it countywide, so right. Whatever the towns are, what I meant to say, not yes. just wrong. So September they had 387 unique visitors, 625 visits altogether. They provide a graph where the highlight of the activity is right after. in May, and then it went down from there. You can see it's um, flat lines when I was talking to someone to see the graph um, while they were ruling it out in the beginning, yep. of, the, you know, the beginning of last year. So um, the top of that graph is 850. And this is for the whole county? This is for the whole site. So whoever, I don't know how many towns in the county actually subscribe. Right. So. <laughs> yes. We don't have that information. Um, we might. And there was a piece, there was a piece of, um, Actually, I can just pull it up. this puzzle is missing, right, that um, we were um, hoping that it would provide a certain set of, certain set of information, right? 
Um, and it doesn't. And it doesn't. So. So that remains a problem in my office. That's a different. Um, that's a whole other proposal by Adam Park that I have not um, mm -hmm. evaluated because it's not. Um, here we go. No, it's, it's an expensive. assessing information. It does not provide footprints. It's in a different... But that's well, footprints, okay. was that the issue that, that Map um, Geo doesn't provide that either? Correct, but Map Geo does not provide square footage, which okay. is, you know, but the point, you know, footprints we is one thing, but square footage is, is rather essential to those who come and, and mm, get right. the information. Um, so that at least would be provided. So it's 1147. For Avatar or for MapGeo? Well, they don't do MapGeo. It is not MapGeo. So MapGeo is a separate is a separate thing altogether. So, so online assessing clients is 1147. Okay, but we're not entertaining going with Avatar. We're not adding new programs. I want. I'm trying to cut things on the budget. So it's about a wash. Um, no. So how much is MapGeo costing? Oh, all right. Okay. So it's similar. It's it's very similar. People aren't. If people a aren't thousand. able to, how much? Um, she said it's um, it's a thousand. It's a thousand dollars that we better spend. Yeah, I agree. Elsewhere. It's it's kind of cool if you look at it, but it doesn't. It's not providing the the level of information we thought it was. So what's the point of having? Well, it, I mean, so it does provide, um, you know, within a radius, and you can control the radius, it does provide butters, it does provide overlays for zoning and, and conservation and, you know, right-of-ways and all kinds of things. Um, but for the point that it was, you know, for which the board chose to go that way, it, it does not reduce traffic in my office by people looking for assessment. And, and the um, applicants that are, are coming before the planning board or the zoning board of adjustment have to provide the list of the budget anyway. So it's they on do. them to figure so, that out. No, right. No. So, so, no, no, no. So, yeah, they could they could have used that. I don't know if they were using that as... So, it's not as if the, that our, our, our board secretaries are using this to, to pull lists of the budget. It's on the applicant to get the list of the budget. So it's not helping the town in that sense either. So, I would say we would say thank you to Stratford County Regional Planning Commission, but no thank you. And save a thousand dollars to spend elsewhere. Or okay. offset the fifty thousand dollar increase that we're, we're proposing. Okay, so um, it's part of the IT line. I'm gonna change um, the IT calculator um, from the thousand dollars <coughs> to um, eleven forty seven in the proposal. It changes the IT line to eleven seven eighty seven. Um eleven thousand seven eighty seven. Why? Because it's in that calculator. But we didn't say we wanted to just add the avatar 11. No, 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 I changed it. I took, I so this line, which said online tax cards, it was $1,000 for MapGeo. I took the $1,000 with the note for MapGeo out, and I replaced it with the 1147 for avatar cards. So the increase. 
increase if you're going to do that. Well, we didn't say we were going to do that. No, you didn't. So. Okay. So, what does that get us? Eleven. So, the, the, so it will get a link from the website to Avatar, where pe users can look at all of the assessment information that is on the board. <coughs> it's in a different format, so that if people print it out and bring it to the office, you can tell where they printed it from, whether they came in previously or, or how they got the information. Um, but it gives them the square footage information. So, so the, the reason for doing it is that, it, you know, it's a public service. People need the information, but it keeps traffic out of this office because people come in looking for copies of assessment cards. <laughs> we're adding a, a full-time employee, mm -hmm. and we're keeping a part-time employee, and we have a quarter-time employee that comes in and deals with building permits and, and takes the minutes. And <coughs> One of them can print out the card for us. So I would suggest we take out the 1147, and we take the $1,000 savings to <coughs> fund this, this new position we're, we're hoping to have. Okay. It's just me. But there's two other people that can make that. If this exercise is to... Save money. I don't want to keep adding money. Okay. Um, so again, though, that's going to change your executive total because it's calculated that long. Okay. Well, that's what it'll save. Thousand dollars, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Was there anything else we have in okay professional services? What we have here. So uh, I don't. I don't want to belabor this point. Mm -hmm. We will still have the ability. So somewhere on the site, you can go and look up your assessment, right? No. You, at all. That's if you get rid of the map geo and don't replace that function, then you can look at previous tax bills. And if you, have, if yeah, you want to okay. look up an address, you can look up previous tax okay. bills. But you no. get that information, but, but you not won't anything be able to find out. Like the thing where you can search by street or last name or that stays. In the tax that that kiosk, stays. That's, that's the tax kiosk. Yeah. Yes. That doesn't go. Tax Professional services. Can we go? Can you uh, yeah. pull up the uh, professional services and uh, work test? So we have. Um, uh, what we have? Uh, oh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Where is it? Okay. So we were. We're not changing that. That's flat. So we were. The approved appropriation for 2018 was 24,000, and we're suggesting we stay at 20. I'm not saying we should, I'm just saying is there any appetite by I'm only one person, so because I don't think we should cut there either. And there's gonna be other places we can. So and then contingency, we have um, we're looking at one percent of last year's operating budget. Is there any any uh, appetite in changing the formula for contingency? I'm just looking at big picture. Yeah. Hardware, software, and service. Is there anything, any other savings in that line that we can we can uh, we can uh, signify? The other thing you might consider, and I'm not suggesting it. It's just a, something to consider is the reimbursable expenses for 147. Yep. Um, theoretically, that's only you know. It's only spent if you're receiving offsetting revenue. Right. It allows you that flexibility, but because you're listing as an expense, it's it's mm -hmm. affecting your line. And under the executive um, office, reimbursable expenses are um, when um, bounced check fees. Mm -hmm. So if bounced check fees, but it was really that line. So so, but that's a small part. It, it can get significant. But what it was really budgeted for was for um, accident mm -hmm. claims, um, mm -hmm. insurance claims, right. so that we're not taking that 
have do we have that separate for the police and the, and the highway? And the no, park? that's it's everything. Only, it's only right it's here. It's only right there. Okay. Is it smart to have to to get all the other records? I mean, the percentages on each one of the budgets. Well, you can still keep it in executive and calculate it as a function of a percentage of the total of the other budgets if you want to. Um, but if you're going to keep one line, then I would say keep it in executive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it jumped up so much from 17 to 18 because there was a... We had a rash of accidents okay. that blew the highway budget. short-sighted and, and, you know, coming up with, but it is $5,000 that we could mm -hmm. conceivably. That's, uh, I don't want to go off of anybody, but uh, in um, 2017, it was, what we spent 68 out of that, uh -huh. and in 2018, so far, we've spent 65, mm -hmm. and we're suggesting 14.7 is the magic number. I don't know where that magic number is. $1,000, which 
experiencing four accidents. So, so the deductible is a thousand dollar per accident, and they go they go to bat for us about it, but and and we do. I'm not sure that it would be any different than vehicle accidents. I've right. not seen That's what I'm saying. So, so if, they, if they have a vehicle accident in, in highway doesn't let's say, have any sign that says something, we, mm -hmm. it can be moved up there. And this is just a... It's still bottom line amount, yeah. So there's still options within moving within that, the, 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 the formula to recover those expenses. And you still have contingency. This may not be the, what happens in the end. I just, I'm just trying to see if we can whittle away this increase that, that we're, we're looking at in, uh, in the executive office. Overall, executive office. We haven't moved out of it yet. So, so that's another, uh, what was that? What did I say? 4,700 out of there. Services the same. Um, that's on. All right. Um, I believe. Uh, let's make. Um, let's make uh, contingency just for right now. We can come back. Let's make contingency at stake twenty thousand. So take away two thousand. Leaving the salary line alone for a moment. Um, so the, the stipend is 200 per election. So there's only one election, so that goes to 200. Dollar plus wages, the same. And the payroll is calculated based on that. Programming and printing of ballots. Um, she thought that number was higher than 2,000, right? She, she, um, she brought us in a revised budget, and I think it's 2,500 now. Is that because the, the additional papers? Yes, yes. For the, for the additional ballots, um, the pages of the ballots, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, that's 3,500, pardon me, not 25. 3,500? 3, well, she's being told by, or she's estimating based off of um, what the town of Newfield pays. Um, longer ballot, but um, if we can, we're only proposing, it may not be three pages, it will be for, this time around, but for, for our election, it might not be three pages, it might only be two, so we're only suggesting at yeah. the 
the moment. Well, it's only uh, going to be ours and not the schools. Then. Right. So we're not suggesting a lot of more articles this time around. So, so far. I mean, keep in mind there will be petitioning more articles from people that there will be zoning more articles. So it, it, may, be, for it may be prudent to, to leave it where she's suggesting at the 35 hundred. So we need to Because it only goes down if, it, if we drop a page, right? So. Right. Okay, for the partial page, we're still paying yeah. for a page. So. so you print as many ballots as we have registered voters, is that right? Like how do you determine? I don't I think know. that's true, and that's a question that's for Kate, but I don't think that's true. It, it's um, it's an overestimate of who typically, but like how many you typically get in March. You know? an average so it's something people. like 900 or 1,000. I don't think she gets one for every single registered voter. Because hmm. I, don't, I don't know. And there are in fact and what happens if you run out? It has to be photocopied. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're put and they're hand counted and then they put it in the machine. The size lot of the machines are hand counted, so they have to be we have been lucky other towns have not been so lucky other towns to be lucky enough to have the photocopy. And they're doing the last bit by my head for you. Um okay, so thirty five hundred for programming.
approved 700, but sent 9.5. So why is it 700 again? I'm not sure that 700, that is her, is that really her request? Mm -hmm. Because I don't think that's going to meet the expense. Yeah. Why it was 700. I know that's what it is, but. Then but we paid 925 for that one. For that style? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We should question that. Okay. Just to make sure. Right, no, I agree. With you. These are the actual numbers that we. Um, you are looking at previous years' budget amount. Budget amounts. We're going into a new year of the contract, and I have not evaluated the contract right, so to say if that's not a big deal. More than likely, there's not a savings to be. Uh, not a savings for sure. There could be an increase there. Okay. Personnel administration. <laughs> Health insurance. Health trust. Just this very morning. Oh, it was late last night. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter, we're just getting this morning, and that's okay. Uh, sent us some options. So, currently we have, is one of our plans on here? Yes, the first one, the, the AB10. First one, AB10. What's called AB10. Okay. Um, 
AB20. It's called AB because of excess blue. Um, it was blue cross blue shield. The 20 re um, references the cocaine. That's what they need their plans. Um, so that's a very similar thing with very obvious, you know, obvious differences that you can see. Um, the other options are um, are different. So, um, AB15 um, has a deductible. Mm -hmm. The ABSOS is site of service. Okay. Site of service is um, much the same as the current. Um, it, I mean, it has a deductible, but it also um, it is otherwise very much like the current insurance if you use their preferred providers right. for services, lab work, and emergency care, and, and certain things like that. Um, there is a note here at the bottom that you could pay up to 50% of the deductible if you wanted to, you know, it's a way to entice people, not that you have to entice them because it's just a risk control bet, but it's a way to move them over and ease them into that. Um, of course, that requires administration management. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to let you know what that is. The SOS is the site of service. If we looked at the AB20 plan, the, um, versus the, is it currently the AB10? Yes. Um, so the, the, the dose fee or your PCP currently costs a $10 uh, copay. If we went to the AB20 plan, it was a $20 copay. Specialty visit currently is $10. The AB20 goes to $20. Uh, walk in center copay is currently $10. The AB20 goes to $20. Urgent care copay is fifty dollars. It stays the same at fifty dollars. Uh, ER copay currently is fifty dollars. If we went to the AB twenty plan, it's a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. There's no change in standard deductible per person per family, so there isn't one. Uh, chiro chiro chiropractic, I use mm -hmm. this one. Uh, visits are currently ten, it goes to twenty. Therapy visits currently ten, goes to twenty. You get sixty visits per year. And the other one is only twelve visits. Is that what that 12 slash 10 yeah. is? 12 visits and then yeah. 60 visits? Okay. Yeah. So there's no change in the, in the number of visits. It's just a copay. And all of these go up uh, either $10 or in the case of the ER, it doubles at 100. Um, there, there, where it says acupuncture is not covered um, under either plan. Durable medical equipment uh, is also at 20%. MRIs, CAT scans, CAT scans PET scans, and MRAs. There is no deduct there is no copay currently with our plan, um, nor with the AB20, the same with x-rays and labs, all the same. And the out-of-pocket maximums for prescriptions, everything is exactly the same at 3,000 individual, 6,000 family. So to the bottom line then. So I like to look at worst case scenario. I don't, mean, I, I don't mean this in a bad way because I think having the family is wonderful. But as far as what the town's paying or what the individual is paying, uh, it's more expensive for our family. So it's 250349 currently mm -hmm. per member per year, right? No, I mean, for, for a family plan? Is that the, that's what it costs? Well, that's what it will be next year, yes. Right. And Which that increases. It needs to be increased prices. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you can realize a savings of, of about a hundred dollars. Is that what it is? Yeah. I'm looking at. What then? Um, so that would be a okay. little less because we're paying eighty percent. Right. So eighty dollars saves the family twenty dollars too. Right. For employees. From um, that's based on what would otherwise. Be per month, right? right? Well, per month from um, what it would otherwise be in nineteen. Right. Um, but just for comparison's sake, you know, that, that's not about, so for family, um, currently it's 2265, just for reference, that's, that's, the, that's the 2018 monthly rate is 2265, okay, um, just so you know what that's going to do to our budget, so right. um, if you'd like, I can um, plug in the AB20 numbers and see Can we do that? that? I'd like to look at all the options. Um, the 
access flu plan, the HMO access flu or deductibles are not necessarily the, the most attractive plan for, for retaining municipal employees. So I'd like to look at what the, what it, the numbers are. Is that okay with everyone? So, um, Go for this exercise of utility perhaps, but. Yeah. We went from an inc um, a total cost of 164 to um, 157. Under, with under. Um, so there's a $7,000. Yeah. So there's like a seven, it's going to be seven thousand dollars approximately cheaper to do the AB twenty than the AB ten. Okay. So we would need okay. We we plugging in the numbers that we had previously, and just using the formula that what it listed in creative and creative spreadsheet was at one forty eight four twenty three. That number is not right because that didn't in, include the ten percent increase. I think they. Because we're at 164. Oh, it did. It did. Yeah, I mean, it's printed here. No, no, no. I'm, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying this is just for if nothing changes. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, yeah. The, the 148 was wrong. It was um, 164. Yeah. I can, I can plug those in again. I can plug it down. Just worry about it. Say that. So if we did nothing, just stayed with the plans we have now. It would be $164,066.52, oh, right? $6.64. What did I say? 66. Uh, oh, six, sorry. Oh, six. But that's not just the increase, it's just the changes in plans and multiples. Correct, right. Yep. So it would have gone up regardless, Correct. not even yep. changing your plans. Right. Our, our biggest thing is, is not necessarily, well, the, the increase is. But our real increase is from single and two-person plans to family plans. Yeah. Right? Everyone, need, we all need to be on the same page about that. I think we are. Yep. Okay. So that one six. Let me try to think right now. Zero zero seven percent. Zero zero seven. Okay. The first one forty eight. Um. Right. That's that's what nineteen would be. Total of one twenty six eight fifty with a 
saving from this year of
provide savings by switching to another plan like this, but helping to offset some of those out-of-pocket costs to the employee, but we still realize we still realize savings, but just not at the rate of say twenty-eight thousand. I mean, is it a way to save twenty thousand or twenty-five thousand? I mean, I don't know yeah. whatever there is. And so you could you could pay offer to pay. You said that the school department, uh, uh, school district used to uh, subsidize half of it if they took a certain plan versus the buyout. The buyout, right? It's the buyout. Yeah. The buyout is what they. Did. But they, but they, so, but they did that. So there was the. Um, one. So there is, there's, they had that flexibility. Right? Not take insurance and get a buyout. But I mean, so the, the district had that flexibility to offer that mm -hmm. to the employee. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, do we have the flexibility then? To say, um, as, a, as a municipality in general, not just our town, but in general, do we have the flexibility to say we will give you a stipend uh, if if the employees agree to go with with um, with this plan, we will give them I don't know five hundred dollars towards their deductibles and um, out of pocket costs in general a year. Do we have that flexibility? Um, let me just make an administrative clarification. Okay. Um, Five hundred dollars. Um, are you thinking about paying them that? A or thousand, thinking, whatever it is. I well, 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 whatever the amount is, numbers. are you, are you giving that to them, or is the office like paying them when that happens? Yeah. Or reimbursing when that happens? It would be a reimbursement. It would be a reimbursement. I would, I would, I would just pay them to not to use the insurance. Right. That but sense. right. I think where you're going is that's not. Yes. Careful, but please. <laughs> yes. So until we have something right. firmly in place, right? Like, but yeah. Right. Um, so you're gonna have people come in with their bills and then say, "Oh, okay." I don't know. That's. Uh, I like the right. sentiment. I think it. Uh, I almost think it'd be easier to give them a five hundred dollars stipend and be like, "Here's your new plan. Here's five hundred bucks." You manage it. Manage How many employees do we have that get insurance? Well, who's the nuts to get sick? Okay, so let me just share with you. I sent I sent an email about this. I don't know if you had a chance to read it. Um, buyouts or other compensation must be considered when calculating overtime. So whatever you choose to give them as some kind of buyout or compensation in addition to their hourly wage must be calculated as part of an overtime. Rate, but for those who will work overtime, what if, what if the person's a salary? How do you do that? Salaries don't get overtime, right? So that so it's it's not it's, so it's not it's okay. not an issue. Okay, okay. So we're only talking about so our road agent is salary, right? So it does not our, our admin support at the moment is salary, right? No, you're hourly. Yeah. So so that that position is hourly. And all the police are hourly. Right. So really, the don't chief has his own. Yes, the chief. Has well, he's he, um, he must be. Well, let, all right, stop. Let's let's just let's like, get away from positions for a minute and yes. say that there are five people for whom this would be a calculation. Okay. Okay. Situation. Right. Okay. I just I don't understand the like. Why? No, mm -hmm. but like, what does that mean? What that means is that um, that's not as bad administratively as dealing with the whole um, $500 or dollar amount for deductibles and coming in with being with that. Yeah. That would be more of a thing. Um, it just means that whatever you're giving that person, um, and, and it depends on how frequently you're giving it to them, whether it's you know once a year or whatever. And I have to get clarification on how that works, but. Um, whether, you know, how, how, in what manner you have to combine that with their straight rate. Um, but you would have to take, um, you know, f so the community that I um, spoke to about this, they pay this out quarterly. They have a buyout, they give it out okay. quarterly because you don't want to give it out for a year sure. if they don't stay for the whole year. Yep. So you have to divide that by, um, you know, 40 hour work week for the number of work days in the quarter to figure out what that was worth for the quarter to get an hourly wage of 65 cents, for example.
25 cents you add to the street rate before you calculate the overtime rate. Yeah, okay, that's, that, that's, so you can't just do like $1,500 a quarter? Like, well, so, so you can, but it comes with that. And, you know, they, they're still working out the details okay. about how best to administrate that, but that was, they got into a thing with the Department of Labor about it. Oh. So this may not But the school out. doesn't do it that way. I'm not, I, I, no, I'm just saying. Well, I mean, right. I, 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 <laughs> they right. just give up. They have a stipend. Well, I think most of their people are salaries, though. I don't think they well, have hourly. Well, I can say Harry didn't her. get it when he was the custodian over there. He got well, a lump sum. That's hourly. So I yeah. don't know how much the custodian works um, overtime. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but like I, I believe everybody else there except for the secretary. I think secretary and maintenance are the only hourly people. Hmm. So you're saying at hourly what? At well, so, so they would only have, you know, the time you and I were on that board, there were three people, I believe, that were hourly. Mm -hmm. and, and, and only two of them would potentially work overtime, which probably didn't happen a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here you have five people who regularly oh, work on right, right, right. Yeah, so that might be the position of those people. You would have yeah. to continually monkey with their hourly rate to get the target quarter. Or, or I'm not even sure how, you know, I, I, have, I need to get clarity. Yes. Maybe this is not something, the stipend thing is not something we want right. to do at this right. point. Exactly. Right. Well, let me go a step further and say that I only heard back from um, three other people who all were not interested. I did not hear anything back from everybody. Okay. Um, so I did some playing around with some numbers, and if two people took a, a buyout, that would save the town $34,000. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a lot of money. That's if, you know, you might get zero. Um, but I do think it's something to consider. I think maybe it's, we're against the, the clock here. We're rolling out something that's coherent. And, yeah. um, I, that's the other thing. You can, you can um, you're working on the budget. It doesn't mean that you can't get flexible in the middle of the, you know, in the yeah. middle of the year, or um, you still have the end of this year to be cohesive for next okay. year about that decision. You know, you're just taking a, a budget number. Right. Which is almost the same. But which I think you would still yeah. want a budget for the worst case anyway, mm -hmm. because if you have turnover and the new people don't, don't take a buyout, you have to kind of plan for the worst. I, you know, my opinion is that I think we should go to 80 20. Um, it isn't a huge um, <coughs> hit, you know, to the employee. It saves money, both of us save money. Um, it's not a lot, but it's a start. Right. And then kind of look it over again next year, maybe earlier, and, and see what we can do. I think throwing in deductibles would be a problem really with, bad. Yeah, the problem with trying to figure it out earlier. Well, the rates are set. set. Yeah. I mean, the rates set the just got set. Yeah. They, they just get set. So that's the problem. And it's this year, every year, they, they this is the way it works. Rates get set, and then you get this small window of hurry up and change if you want to, right. and then it gets implemented in January. I mean, the other thing is, I mean, if, you're gonna, if you don't want to change your plan, which you may want to change the percentages of what, what's contributed to, you know. Um, but I think. If, if you change the plan and you have someone who doesn't use the plan often, that's a, that's a win-win. Yep. If you have someone who uses it a lot, it's not a good, you know, change. So Do we have any statistics on usage, or is that not um, something we I should? asked for, well, no. They, they, they won't tell you specifically within your own group. Okay. Um, except for, well, and, and this is probably not really what you're asking, so I'm not sure. Well, but, but I can see some usage for some of the um, wellness benefits. Oh, um, yeah. So the shopping around for the best place to get lab work that's cheaper, for example. You get $25 if you use the cheaper place to get lab. And then the money, mm -hmm. the amount of money goes up if you, like, for, for the cost of, like, an MRI would be a bigger payout if you choose the cheaper option than with lab work, which is cheaper. Um, so those kinds of things, they, they reimburse for fitness devices and things like that. Um, you can do online um, talking to doctors for a copay and things like that. And so I have statistics on um, like health coaching and, and who engages with the website over that, which is to say people are using it. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't see, you know, of, of the number of people that we have, um, total claim value or number of claims okay. or, or anything like that. Kind of agree with you, Denise. It would be if no one's actually using any of the insurance, mm -hmm. 
the cheapest one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, no, that's probably not true. No. You hope it is, but I, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I think at a minimum we move to AZ20. Um, I, I was more leaning towards the AZ15, but um, that is a much bigger change for the, the rest of the way. It's a bigger hit to the importer. I mean, they, they, for a family, they would save a thousand dollars in their what they contribute themselves, yeah, um, off the the premium. Mm -hmm. And then they have a standard deductible of a um, thousand dollars, so it's really a wash. But that, that's only for one; it's three thousand for the per family. family. So that's You're right. that's a yeah, pretty big, dollars. yeah, pretty big hit. going to send me a list of who they are in our area. Mm -hmm. um, it's similar to the list of providers they would tell you to go to if you shopped around mm -hmm. for those services. Mm -hmm. um, there's no way to know how it relates to who's, who, um, who people's preferred providers sure. are. Sure. So with AB20, none of the providers change? It, it is, it is the, the same, same in all those ways. Yes. 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 The, the changes are mostly okay. what you see. No, there's not a network change. So the, the yeah, I mean, if we have to make an change, we have to, and I do believe we need to make a change. Yeah. The, the most attractive one is still the AD20, where the, um, the changes are minimal, so mostly $10. Well, they've doubled up the SP, almost double what they were. Right. The earning care hasn't changed. The ER copay changes. trying to, to, to look at this from, from a municipal employee's perspective and, and their, their, their rate of pay versus what I currently pay and, and what I receive for benefits. So, so they're not the same. So do we want to make a decision right now or do we want to think about it some more? I mean, I think at the bare minimum we need to go to AD20. I think mm -hmm. Miles is right. Yeah. And that we can realize at least a saving of $6,600. So let me just say, for, for any plan change, I hope that we will have Health and Trust here to explain those changes and um, with the employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the board members, if, if they're interested, let them know. Just not talk to them. No. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, for sure. We definitely need to have them come here. I think it's a good idea anyway, just to make sure they know what, you know. They should, they should, yeah. I mean, because as much as they use the wellness benefits, the, well, the reason we get wonderful wellness benefits is because it um, it keeps claims. Right. Yeah. Right. So we are part of the risk pool. It's more like a risk pool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last time we did this, uh, when we when we had to change for our plan to be existing, right? Um, how many employees actually showed up for the briefing for that day? I believe one could not. Oh, but they came. but they all came. Yeah, right. they, they all, they all, they all wanted to come. Yeah. Right. 
Might as well. I mean, I think we have to have it regardless. Well, if, if you were going to do it just for the sake of doing it, I don't think they'd come. I think when you when you are right. talking about change, that gets people here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move the calculator. It may be, you're right. Yeah, I mean, it very well may be. I mean, they're saving to the, you know, I mean, it's still, it's, it's a start of saying to the future things, you know, but. Yeah, Liberty started that about four years ago, where you could choose the HSA or stay mm -hmm. on the traditional plan, and now they've eliminated that everyone's on the HSA. Mm -hmm. um, there is an HSA option. I got, you know, so so to be clear, these are the most similar plans. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of options, and we can do, we can talk about HSAs too. If Is it, can we offer more than one plan? Or you can offer more than one plan. You can offer, I think, up to three plans. Um, it, it, you know, it just becomes more of an administrative thing to, to for the calculator and to, mm -hmm. you know, signing people up and things like that. But no, you can offer you can offer more than one plan. Something to know, um, retirees who buy our insurance do so at their own cost or through the retirement system, um, but they can only take whatever options we provide. Uh, right. So um, whatever you're changing here affects them as well. Right. How many do we have? We have two. Now traditionally has only only offered one though, right? We haven't offered multiple. Um, options. not in recent years. Not in um, last. Not not in recent years, but it did at one point. How long ago? Um, around the time that I started, like like four or five years ago, it had, but nobody was using the other plan, which is why it was eliminated. I don't think it would be worth it just because I can tell you they really like the nice plan, and anything else that you offer is not going to be enough. You know, so it's where you less of a plan. right, and where you say it's a savings to the employee, mm -hmm. they don't care because mm -hmm. they're willing to pay for the nicer plan, mm -hmm. so they're not going to pick any lesser plan. But I wouldn't bother to offer another. I mean, you're welcome to, but so maybe we stay with eighty ten to adjust the, what the employee pays if they like the. The better plan. So we're we're trying to come up with sixty six hundred dollars worth of savings, which is kind of peanuts. But um, do we do it through higher deductibles or through charging them more for a plan they like better? Or do we offer both and say you can take? I don't know. That you can do with. that. You can do that. It, it depends on what you know. If you go to the doctor a hundred times a year at ten dollars. So let's just say for 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 because we're looking at it, let's go back to AP ten for a moment. Sorry, I'm here for a little number that I can throw on. But let's just go back to AP ten.
switch planes versus. Right. So, can you change that to 95? So, 80, so now about 5%. Okay, so what is that? That's a 99. Yes, he maintains AB10, and you're saying 95 and 80 and 75. But what if family is paying under that, it's $1,500 more a year mm -hmm. out of their paycheck? Well, so we can also adjust these percentages so we get closer yeah. to yeah. the, you know, I don't know. I'm just using round numbers. We don't have to pay 90. So you want to go like two percentage points under what was? Oh, wait, hold on just a second. So don't change family. Go back, change family back to 80. Right, wasn't 80 the time? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So let's just say there's no change for family. Where are we at now? So what does that give us? Um, 38.95. Of, of, um, of what we could realize if we change plans. Yeah. Right. So there would have to be some sort of Great answers, guys. Mm -hmm. No. All right. I know you, you have a hard stop at, at, at noon, right? Yeah. But that's only eight minutes. So I don't want to. Um, this is a really important decision. Yeah. Right? So I don't want anyone to feel rushed or pressured into going one way or another. Can we just, as a placeholder, mm -hmm. put in the keep go put in the AB twenty? Current percentages, are everyone okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Recognizing that we're not done clearly, we're going to have to yeah. do probably several more times as a part of, as part of meetings. And um, I want before you leave, I think I have to go soon. So we'll just set maybe another up on Saturday. I hate to do it, but we have to. If that's what the day works for people, we have to get this. When is the um, when is the um, the budget committee is meeting for their quarterly meeting next Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Do we have the, um, probably already have it, and I should know the answer, but I'm going to ask the question. Do we have a schedule moving forward of when they've, they've scheduled out um, of the meeting? Oh, it does exist, but I, I would want the board to um, suggest okay. to the budget committee whether or not that needs to get um, revised. Right. And, and I'm not saying that it does, but I, I just. So, so they're, okay, all right, all right. That's, that's what I want to see. So they're hoping then to have um, the department of presentation on, starting on the 28th of November. Mm -hmm. I thought it looked good, their schedule. Yeah, I so mean, I'm not, now I'm not on, frightened by it. I thought yeah. it was closer to the, so we still have. I'm not that close. Right, okay. <laughs> yes, it's tongue in cheek. We have right, time. So we have time. More time than I thought. Yeah. Time. Okay, so I don't want to know. So 
the next Saturday is the 27th. What are the people take? I think it would only be available until about 1030. So what do we have left to cover? I know we've kind of put salaries in. Other we're going to deal with salaries. We're going to deal with health insurance, and we need to finalize um, looking at uh, looking at. Um, you have to finalize the IT with the department. The IT, and, yep. And revenue. And we have to deal with revenue, and we have to deal with police and fire and um, government buildings. And I think. Oh, hi. Kind of have to finalize each. Everything. Category. We have not finished yeah. that. Yeah. So what I was hoping as we went along, if we could agree on, um, so as far as I'm concerned, the um, town clerk is done, mm -hmm. unless there's some new information that she may have that we need to revisit. Well, um, once you talk about salaries, that could affect every department. Yeah, exactly. So well, yeah. No, go I'm, back and say so, bottom line is this is what we're... Correct. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, correct. Yeah. 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 So salary is separate from everything else in that bucket. Um, that's finalized for me, like the town clerk one. The executive office, um, we're still looking at it, but there won't be any increase. Which I would hope that. Um, Reevaluation, there should be no changes, only if the contract says it's going up or whatever. Did, did we discuss the, uh, the tax collective um, mailing thing? I we have other information on that. Hold on, let me pull up that. So we have um, um yeah, we can talk about that. Um, but yes, no, there was there was additional information there that she had. Um, 
government buildings we'll need to talk about um, still. Um, cemeteries should be should be finished, right? We've already said that he can have his the change, seven hundred and fifty dollar change, right? We were done with that one. Uh, insurance we need to figure out. And the police um, I have insurance figures. I emailed them to you. Yeah. They're in Plus the board folder if you haven't seen them already. But I'll email you all out a revised new Perfect. spreadsheet that has new insurance numbers. Okay. And there's also, um, so um, there's the police department and fire department and highway we need to figure out. Still. I mean, then there's small, like animal control, which is numbers. But he, the, the, the Bob submitted out of the police. Mm -hmm. um, but those are the, um, and the capital. So, there's still a lot to do. I don't want to say there isn't, but um, it's, it's, it's manageable. So there's the 29th, we have um, students coming in at 6, and, uh, I mean at 6.30 rather. They're coming in at 6.30. So we could, um, we could have a budget workshop also that evening. Mm -hmm. um, and again, go from... Six to seven thirty. Um, well, we can't put the seven thirty with the on the twenty ninth. Because they're coming in. They're coming in. Well, I was going to say we, oh, we, we, would, we, we would just suspend the budget workshop and give their presentation. Oh, okay. I don't think it's going to take that long. Okay. Maybe ten minutes max. I, I can't imagine it's going to go longer than that. But. I'm just thinking about posting purposes. It would just be a workshop at six, and then. Yeah, and that's fine.